Such a lovely day here that I thought I would uh, share it with you. So I'm just in front of our Australia Post, which is our little post offices. I do apologise if I don't see anyone. It's a lot of glare today, but it's a particularly nice day. So I thought I'd at the very least take us on a bit of a walk. The light was so beautiful down by the fountain that I figured we'd head down there. autumn too so it's kind of nice time for it oh there's my crow buddy over there hanging out in the tree hello sun and fun congratulations i saw one of your videos had like 172,000 views on it which is kind of nuts so i'll just show you quickly where i am before we walk it's a really nice day today i've got the sun up here I've spent a lot. Oh, look, right ahead of us is the crows, right up the tree there, right above my head. There we go. Hey, crow babies. Hi, y'all. There you go. They follow me around Sunbury. Hello, John. How are you? Really good to see you. Hello, Pug. Really good to see you. I found the crows. They're right above my head. <laughs> I might get us another angle. Let's see if we can. Hopefully you can see them well there. Hello. There we go. Into the sun for me, aren't you good? Right above my head. <laughs> well, that was really nice. Okay, so, and I'll just show you this for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. This will mess with your head a little bit. We've got um, all of the autumn leaves and stuff as well at the moment, which is really nice. So, but I'm gonna head down towards the fountain and set up on one of the trestle tables. And a little bit later, I'm gonna do another one of these from the park. I'm gonna set up my ukulele and um, take a few instruments and stuff with me. We can at least wait for the bus. <laughs> Hello, really good to see you. I hope you are well. Welcome, Machete. Mega love shout at you. Mega love shout at you. Mega love shout out. Mega love shout at you. Here we go, that's one of our buses. <laughs> that was very well timed. So, and we've got the crows still overhead. I'll just show you them quickly. They're both staring at me. <laughs> I can see their eyes, beautiful things. Um, so I'm sure we will see more of them as we continue. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, funny IRL, really good to see you. I hope you are well. So this is the main street of Sunbury just here. We've got the bus station bus terminus and the train station just ahead here which will be where the bus is about to go but it's so sunny and we're you know coming into winter soon so we've got our I think our last few nice days before it gets really cold <laughs> we pull all the thermals out and do all the winter things that we all get used to doing so Thank you, I do appreciate it. Let me just make sure I haven't missed anyone there. Hello, hello, hello. There's quite a bit of glare today as well, so I'm trying to uh, read the chat. <laughs> There's one of our little drive through bottle shops over there. It's one of my favourite types of uh, my favourite trees. <laughs> 
Oh, ha ha, Pug. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Pug seems to think we're in the third world and that we don't have buildings and paved roads in Australia. <laughs> Which is all part of the joke, but... Um, so we've got a heap of oak trees down here and they look really pretty at the moment because we're in, obviously in autumn so everything's turning orange and we've got all these autumn leaves all over the ground. Hello, welcome, good to see you. Oh here, this is one of the best signs ever that I have to show you. Look at this. Get in my belly. <laughs> there you go. That would make a good, uh, I've used that one as a thumbnail before. <laughs> so, hello, welcome Purple Moon. Hello, Harvinder. So this is one of our oldest bakeries. They do a mean red velvet cake in there. So, some things, thanks. <laughs> I get out of everyone's way. And up ahead, we've got the fountain, which is where I'm heading. You can hear the crows already. And then I'll find somewhere and we can hopefully do a bit of a bit of singing. There's the crows. Hello. Lots of crows. One, two, three, four. I can see five of them above my head at the moment. This one's looking me in the eye. <laughs> and there's a heap of them across the road too. You can hear them doing their little call. There goes one. <laughs> so there we go. It looks like the uh, birds are playing along. And when you hear the crows, you understand why we all say mate. I'll shut up for a minute so you can hear. Mate. There we go. So there's a heap of crows. A group of magpies you call a murder. And I think it's the same with crows. So there you go, there was a murder of crows up a tree. There's some more, here we go. One, two, three. I've been saying hello to these for a while, so they don't mind me. <laughs> They're always flying over my head. Yeah, they will, and if you, you ever wanna know why Australians say mate, <laughs> listen to the crows. And the magpies have their own kind of version as well. Magpies are a member of the crow family and they're the same, crows are the same family as the uh, ravens and stuff like that. So there we go, there's five of, six of them there. Yay. Coming a bit closer. Okay, so on that note, I'll get us over to the fountain, which is up ahead. I'll give you a last little 360 before I do that it's quite pretty here. I can see all the crows moving from tree to tree. <laughs> Hello Mary, really good to see you. I worked out a song for you on the ukulele by the way. I'll play it for you later on. Oh look, there we go, a bit of bird action happening up there. I love the crows. It's the constant noise in Australia, we always hear crows. Crows, magpies, galahs, minor birds <laughs> are always everywhere with an assortment of other things depending on where you're from. But they're the main consistent ones. So anyway, let me finish doing my little turn around for you. And we're gonna head over the zebra crossing here to the fountain. Thank you, and it's a really nice little oasis here. It's one of my favorite little places. So it's, um, yeah, it's really nice. 
Um, crows are one of the smartest birds in the world. All of the magpies remember every single person that they've met. Um, everyone that's ever come into their territory, they will remember. So I'm just going to be quiet for a minute and take us on a walk around the fountain. Beautiful shadows at the moment. And someone's put, they put bubble bath in it to clean it sometimes. Sometimes it's kids. <laughs> I often come through past at night and it's overflowing with bubbles. There we go. It's really sunny here today. It's a really nice day. Hello, no blue lines. Good to see you. You can see it's nice and uh, pretty. But I'm going to try to do a 360 of the fountain for you. nice right and the light is fantastic at the moment but really bright sun up here and um, it's a nice little oasis down here so I'll take you for a little bit of a oops, dodge the kids on scooters <laughs> take you for a little walk down here so I hope you like that let me just, just double check I didn't miss anyone coming in. Hello, no blue lines. Hello, Harbinder. Hello, Mary. Mate. Mate. Hello, Purple Moon. I really like this building up ahead too. Let me show you this one quickly. So I don't think I've um, had a uh, look at this. We've got all of the school holidays either ended today here or because tomorrow here's a public holiday for Anzac Day. A lot of the schools don't go back until Wednesday, so it's um, there's still quite a few kids out. I'll show you this building. Hello! So I should probably sing us a song too. Um, actually, let's go for a walk down this way. I am. Um, let me know if anyone has any requests. I'm just, I did, haven't got my lyrics with me, so I am. I'll show you the fountain once more before I head over the other way. Here we go. So, so you think you can tell heaven from hell, blue skies and things. Can you tell a green field from a cold still rail? A smile from a veil, do you think you can tell? Then they get you to trade your heroes for gold. 
Hot as his victories Hot ever cool breeze No comfort for change Let you exchange A walk on part in the wall For a lead role in a cage how I wish you were here We're just two lost souls Swimming in a fish bowl Year after year Running over the same old ground And how we found The same old fears Wish you were here there you go. Hello, more deep. Really good to see you. <laughs> so there we go. There's the pretty fountain. I'm going to head back over this way now. And um, there you go. That was wish. Yeah, wish you were there. <laughs> wish I was there. It's a nice day. We could have a picnic. <laughs> it's a really nice day for it. And on that note, because it is such a beautiful day today, I am going to do another one of these for you and I'm going to take my ukulele and my keyboard to the park, set up the tripod, take coffee, all that sort of stuff and that way I can do um, requests. I've worked out a couple of really cool new progressions on the uke and I did a lot of practice in the last couple of days so I'm looking forward to sharing all of that with you. Um, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Um, I'll show you some more of the prettiness while I'm here because it is really lovely. There's quite a few people around, so I was going to set the tripod up, but I might um, see how we go. Hello, Clayton. Really good to see you. I hope you are well. Thank you. The other one I know from memory. Let's see how much of this I can remember from memory at the moment. Kicking away the moments that make up a dull day Fritter and waste the hours in our fan way Kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown like I am Waiting for someone or something to show you the way Tired of lying in the sunshine Staying home to watch the rain You are young and life is long And there is time to kill today And then one day you find Ten years of God behind you No one told you when to run ba -na -na You missed the starting gun So you run and you run To catch up with the sun But it's sinking Crows up ahead Racing around To come up behind you again the sun is the same in a relative way, but you're older. Shorter of breath, and one day closer to death. Every year is getting shorter, never seem to find the time. Plans that either come to naught Or half a page of scribbled lines Hanging on in quiet desperation Is the English way The time has come, the song is over Thought I'd something more to say home home again i like to be here when i can when i come home cold and tired 
It's nice to warm my bones beside the fire. Far away, across the field, tolling on the iron bell, draws the faithful to their knees to hear the softly spoken magic spell. <laughs> there you go. So that's two Floyd songs for you. And I missed some comments there. Hello, it's funny, hey, Harold. Um, yeah, definitely awake. I think Pink Floyd is some of the best song lyrics, the best lyricists in the world. <laughs> Thank you. The first couple of songs I learnt. Oh, so you've been cold there. See, we're in autumn here. So this is kind of like the last of ours. Which one's pink? Uh, I know, right? Uh, I have a nephew called Floyd, and he was named after Pink Floyd. So there you go. Um, yeah. Well, they've pulled a lot of stuff out recently and have put in all of the um, uh, winter crops and uh, winter flowering stuff. So yeah, it's really pretty here at the moment. I'll take us for a quick walk down the centre and I'll just quickly see how much battery life I've got. Oh yeah, we're still good. No need for the... <laughs> yeah, they did a lot. <laughs> they did a lot. You know what I discovered the other day which saddened me? Pink Floyd only have like 4.3 million subscribers. I'm like, how do they not have like one of the highest subscriber numbers on the planet? And, you know, yes, that's still relatively high, but nowhere near high enough for what they deserve. So all of you, if you're not subscribed to them, <laughs> go and do it. Um, so uh, let me see what else my head is going to. Let me sing for you. <laughs> Good synthesizer. Thank you. So let's do let's let's do my best synthesizer. I'll do you a little bit of um, one of my favourite songs, The Entertainer. So here we go. Let's just get around here. You got a view? Hello. So here we go. Da 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 Bonus points if you can name it. This is the baby elephant walk by Henry Mancini who also wrote the Pink Panther and many other more <laughs> Hello May, really good to see you Mega love shout at you Mega love shout at you mega love shout out mega love shout out to you and i definitely recommend you all pick up clayton clayton's really talented really really cool may does really really good open mics too has a lovely lovely voice and i know there's a lot of us that really enjoy the singing side of things i'm going to show you some all of the pretty plants down in here as well <laughs> 
there you go. And most people, and I used to get The Entertainer by Scott Joplin and um, Baby Elephant Walk caught, um, mixed up all the time. So, um, so The Entertainer, we all know, which is... Yes, it is Scott Joplin and one of the earliest jet tracks. It's one I love whenever I hear it and one we all know. <laughs> it is the entertainer by Scott Joplin. I'm sure you all know it. It's a fabulous song. I love it much, and it's great on piano. <laughs> there we go. And that's one of those songs that I used to be able to play on the piano, like when I was a teenager. And um, it's been a long time. There you go, the entertainer and the baby elephant walk. So that would be the baby entertainer <laughs> or the entertaining elephant. <laughs> Actually, I like the entertaining elephant. I would like to see the entertaining elephant walk. <laughs> um, my way. Oh, yeah, let's see how much of this I remember. Okay, <laughs> so. And now the end has come. There's a bird down here. And so I draw the final curtain. My friends, I know it all. I did it all with a dimension. I live a life that's good. I traveled each and every highway. And more, much more than this, I did it my way. For what is a woman? What has she got? If not herself, then she has not to say all the things she really means and not the words. Of one who kneels. <laughs> Don't try to sing when you're bent over, Violet. <laughs> the record shows I took the blows and did it my way. And then there's funny IRL clips. And he, like all of us, has his own way. I do want to know what happened to Tommy. Who knows, maybe he went and did it his way. <laughs> there you go. There's a little bit of, um, and I think I mixed up two verses together. Um, oh, I do a lot of Frank Sinatra. He's one of my favourites. Um, so, when marimba rhythm time to dance, dance with me, make me sway. Like a lazy ocean hugs the shore. Sway me close, sway me more. Like a flower bending in the breeze, bend with me, sway with ease. When you dance, we have a way with you, sway with you, stay with you. Other dancers may be on the floor, dear, but my eyes will see only you. Only you have that magic technique. When we sway, I go weak. Ah. 
can hear the sound of violins long before it begins. Make me thrill as only you know how. Sway me smooth, sway me now. So that's a really old church ahead here. It's Bluestone, which is our local Bluestone. Thank you so much, Funny IRL Clips, too, for the um, donation. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I love the old crooners the most. <laughs> They're... Um, I really like it. The f my favourite of all of the Sinatra sing songs to sing, which I don't do often, is The Lady is a Tramp. <laughs> Lady is a Tramp. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, and they certainly know how to sing. And Pug's a crooner. So um, he's definitely a crooner. That's partly why I call him King of the Ballads. <laughs> he's got that ability. Here, let me cut through here and show you a little bit closer here. Oh, I can see all these birds everywhere. Um, let me see if my head will tell me any more Sinatra songs. I know this is the one that Laren really likes. Um, Fly me to the moon, let me float among the clouds. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with love and let me sing forevermore. You are all I hope for, all I wish for and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, darling, kiss me. <laughs> so there you go, that's probably a little bit more of um, and I do agree with what you said about um, correct, it is, and the song that always goes in my mind when I think of the lady is a tramp is this one, <laughs> the minute she walked in, sorry, the minute he walked in the room, bottom, I could see he was a man of distinction, a real big spender, good looking, so refined, say wouldn't you like to know what's going on in my mind, so let me get straight to the point, Bottom. I don't pop my coat for every guy I meet. Hey, big spender, spend a little time with me. But, um, oh my god, I saw Harry Connick Jr. I sing two Harry Connick Jr. songs. My favorite one to sing is She. Can you remind me of this later, more deep? Because I love Harry Connick Jr. I saw him. Um, perform with, I'm pretty sure it was with the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra here back in the 90s and I love Harry Connick Jr. Um, Whisper Your Name I really like too. Um, so the, how does she go? Um, Rest your hand on my waters well within well within something like that do you live in a solar city? <laughs> yeah, that's um I really dig him. So and he's actually here at the moment doing one of our like silly reality shows. <laughs> um I think like one of the Australian Idol style shows. On your birthday. Oh, I can imagine. See, I, I have a big love of the jazz. So yeah, remind me that, because I'll try to um I I don't often sing them and I, I love singing the, the jazzy stuff so that would make um yeah he's here at the moment yeah with his family and stuff so they've been doing um yeah but I know he's doing concerts and stuff but I didn't see him this time around yeah it was would have been like mid 90s for me when I saw him so he was an absolute prodigy like his family used to take him to New Orleans when he was like six years old to perform absolute prodigy um I really really dig him 
And you could whisper your name. <laughs> yeah, I know when they're actually making real music. <laughs> Before it all became auto tuned, written by computers in bedroom stuff. Um, and that's okay, the world has changed. <laughs> so let me just do a quick. Okay, we've got 50% battery left. Um, so those were the days, my friends. We thought they'd never end. I can't remember what the next line is, but that is okay. That's when we improvise until we run out of tune. <laughs> Downtown. Downtown. Oh, there's a couple of downtown songs. I know the one you're thinking of. Um, oh, got to let my head catch up with me. When we go downtown. Um, I'll I'll think of that one. I know that song, but my if I can't remember how the melody starts in my head, <laughs> it doesn't happen. Um, yeah, it's all getting done by AI now. Thank you. I do appreciate that. I really do appreciate it. Um, so, okay, so let's see how much of this I can remember. There's a lady who knows all that glitters is gold and she's buying a stairway to heaven. When she gets there she knows if the shops are all closed with a word she can get what she came for. Mm -hmm. Makes me wonder If there's a bushel in your head row Don't be alarmed now It's just a sprinkling for the May Queen Yes, there are two roads you can go by But in the long way It's too late to change the road you're on <clears throat> I'm mashing up lyrics. <laughs> I'm a massive Zeppelin fan. So what I would love you to do for me later on, part of the reason I changed my whole setup at home is so I can sing standing up. I cannot sing Led Zeppelin sitting down properly and I love singing Led Zeppelin. Like I've got a real passion for Led Zeppelin. So um, I would definitely like to do some more of that. So this is the be the best from memory Zeppelin I can give you. Well, well, I just got into town today to find my girl has gone away. She took the greyhound at the general store. Boom, 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 boom. She took my heart. She took my keys from me, my own blue doggeries. And I'll never go to Texas anymore. Now my baby's gone. I don't know what to do. She took my heart and walked right out the door. And if I ever see that girl, I know one thing for sure. I'm gonna give her something like she's never had before. <laughs> and the next line's not appropriate, so I'll leave that one there. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I can't believe it. Sun and Fun put a, posted a couple of videos in the last couple of days. And I saw earlier one of them had like 172,000 on them. But that was hot dog. Oh, hot dog. There we go. And I'm in through the outdoors, one of my favorite albums. Well, there's a light in your eyes that keep shining. Like a fool, I can't wait for the night. I like to think I've been blinded, baby. Why can't I see you tonight? We've lost focus, everyone. Sorry. I'm not quite sure what's happened there. Ah, uh, there we go. Phone's back. <clears throat> um, yeah, so if someone can remind me Zeppelin later, I would love. I was actually debating doing a stream soon when I just sing all of my Zeppelin and Queen songs. Because if I'm not on my, I'm standing up, I just can't sing them as well. You really need all of your lyrics for that. Um, I grew up on Zeppelin. I absolutely adore them. So, um, yep, there you go. And I know them backwards. Um... So I'm sure later on if you uh, 
you want to see a koala i don't know if i'll be able to get you a koala soon but there are definitely kangaroos close so let me just have a look we've gone nearly 40 minutes so what i might do is we're going to walk so there's quite a few people here and i'm just really conscious of cashmere is a great song too um all of my love all of my love all of my love to you dear all of my love all of my love all of my love to you dear <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm going to do, because I've got quite a bit of battery left, is I'm going to walk. So what I'm going to do, this is the plan everyone, I am going to maybe spend another 5-10 minutes with you, then I'm going to leave you, I'm going to go home, I'm going to make coffee, and I'm going to relocate to the park, I'm going to take my ukulele, my keyboard, I'll take all my song lyrics with me. So I'll be able to sing all those like Harry Connick Jr. songs and we can do a Zeppelin, as much Zeppelin as we want. As you can see, it's such a beautiful day. So I thought I would seize the, um, seize the moment and do what we can. So I'm going to take us for a walk just down the other street here. I'll show you the fountain from the other side. Hello, Government Watchdogs News. Really good to see you. Welcome. I'm with you there and I um, I took up the bass guitar again recently and the songs I remember from muscle memory is Ramble On, <laughs> I remember Black Knight by um, Deep Purple and I remember quite a bit of sanitarium on the bass guitar <laughs> but that's all I really remember. Um, oh sorry, but I've been trying to uh, translate that to the ukulele, well to my baritone ukulele. That sounds really good. And if I don't see you, have a good day. And if I do see you, I will definitely do some Hunt Harry Connick Jr. for you, which I'll do anyway, because I love it. <laughs> and that's what it's all about. So I'm going to take us down the um, main street here. There's some, um, well, this is our second kind of main street. There is a um, couple of murals here. So there's one on the other side of the road. So I might cross over because we can have a look at the mural this way. Thank you. The nice people stopping for me. Um, sorry, I try to walk a bit slower where I can so it doesn't jolt as much. But I can't quite use that logic when I'm crossing a road. <laughs> Shrimps and the Barbie, hey? <laughs> My, um, I'm a Barbie girl in Australia. Ours come with prawns, not with shrimps. But this is as much as Barbie as you'll get. Cause it came in to my head. <laughs> come on, Clayton, let's go see it. Wah, ha, ho. Come on, Clayton, let's go see it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone ordered a magpie and it's waiting. <laughs> I don't know if you can see there's a magpie down here in front of the mural as well. <laughs> there you go. I'll never sing that song again. <laughs> it's a one-off. Um, yeah, so there's a magpie just down there by the bags. But there's some nice... <coughs> pardon me. A nice mural here. So I thought... At the very least, I can show you this. It's got lots of the really cool Australian wildlife on it. So this is a lorikeet, which I'll show you. So this is a lorikeet here, so a rainbow lorikeet. And then we've got our ringtail possum. So our possums look very different from your opossums. Ours are cute, yours not so. Sorry, that's a sugar glider, not a possum. So that's a sugar glider, which is a member of the same family. They're kind of palmy a hand size. Sugar gliders are like one of my favorites. Big gum leaves. Um, so if anyone's into cricket, the ashes actually came from Sunbury where I am. So there is actually a cricket memorial and stuff like that. I did film it a little bit the other day. We've got a platypus here. So I have seen some of the platypuses 
locally in some of our waterways. We've also got some echidnas. There's a really cool crow here. This is my favorite bit of the whole thing, particularly the frog down the bottom kind of makes it. <laughs> so there we go, there's a really nice crow. Yes, there are deadly jellyfish in the ocean here, but that's mainly up in Queensland. So we get the man of wars, we get a few different types of the, um, of the jellyfish here. So there's some, oh, sorry, it's losing focus, everyone. It's really bright, which is partly why. Let's see if I can find our focus again. Ah, oh, there we go. We've refocused on the gum leaves. Yeah, I agree, and I love the Australiana. And then we've got some butterflies and gecko. So you've got a goanna here. Um, this is our wattle in flower. And then there's some of our little birds up there. So there you go, it's quite a nice, um, quite a nice mural, that one. There's another one on the other side of the road too, which I would have done last time I was down here. So next, next walk I'll do that one. Um, so here we go, let's have a bit of a wander down the main, uh, the main drag or the second main drag. It's a nice sign. Um, and one of the things I love about Australia is there's trees down the side of every road, there's parks everywhere, it's all very green. Um, lots of these little laneways like this are tucked away everywhere, we've always got little lanes and alleys and stuff like that. So it's one of the things I very much like about the place, amongst other things. <laughs> yeah, and I am... Um, my me and my element is this this is what i love doing this is how i spend my time and i have an analogy sometimes it's good to be a tour guide in your own life you know we forget what um everyone kind of takes what they have for granted and when we see other people's parts of the world it's interesting and i find it just as fascinating but i also like there goes the crows um i love showing people the cool stuff so this is our, we have Australia Post, which is our one. So I'll show you one of the post boxes saying that's here. Seize the moment, as they say. So that's what our post boxes look like. Um, and partly for me, it's because I got so disconnected from the world. We all did. I got, you know, particularly through depression. So I said about going to photograph and share one thing a day that made me smile, which is how this whole channel started many years ago. So it's kind of still the same way. Music's become a very large part of it, but that's really what it's all about. So, well, that's where you can drop mail if you want to. So you have them all over the place as well as the post offices. So if you've already got stamps on stuff, you can just drop it in the post boxes and they're kind of all over the place. So most people will be able to find a post box like that within a couple of blocks of their house. Um, so, and we've got lots of op shops as well. One of our op shop chains, which is just here, is the uh, Red Cross that do particularly a lot of, um, obviously, blood transfusion work and stuff like that. So I know you'll call them thrift shops, but we call them op shops. And we've got them everywhere. So this is one of my favorites, but my absolute favorite one's up ahead. <laughs> so there you go, another little laneway. Um, and so we all, it's all, you know, run by volunteers. Most people will donate their goods to the op shop instead of throwing it into landfill. It's something that's become really key to me as an artist. I only work in natural materials or salvage. So I try to keep as much as I can out of landfill. So a lot of this stuff, you know, I've worked out ways to turn them into rugs and give things other lives and, um, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. And it's not always an easy thing to do, Clayton, because believe it or not, the more positive you are, the more people hate you too. <laughs> so, you know, it's like the moss to a flame stuff. I get, I get trolled probably more than anyone I know, <laughs> but that's okay. There's a lot of miserable people out there. So, um, you can, I'm very mindful of not, um, I don't like filming people a lot and I'm really particular about not filming children. So, yeah, exactly. 
So it whole, you know, more more flies with honey than vinegar. Um, but I've kind of learnt all, with all of that, it's not about me, it's just the way of it. Um, and I'm not everyone's cup of tea, nor would I want to be. You know, can you imagine if we all like the same thing in this world, how boring a place it would be? We've got burger joints everywhere. Okay. Yeah, and look, I couldn't actually necessarily relax and play myself until I was in my late 30s. I was way too serious. So when I was younger, I wouldn't relax and let myself have fun. And it was only when I got older and I'm kind of making up for it now, which is one of the reasons that, you know, play is what cultivates art. If you don't play with things, you can't make art. If you don't play with your instruments, you can't make better music. You know, it's like all of this sort of stuff. Here's our chromate. So it took me a long time to learn to do that. And partly why I sing outdoors, it's a bravery thing for me. It's telling myself what I'm capable of. And here we go, beautiful crow. Um, yeah, there's fast food everywhere here and there'll be cafes everywhere. No, it's not, sadly. It's been semi-decriminalised in a couple of the states, but um, we do have a certain amount of medical that's... Um, but not not anything oh sorry not anything like it should be elsewhere so and this is another one of our little independent grocers which is stands for independent grocers of Australia it's the IGA chain and you'll get these all over the place they're not quite as um, as big as the other two supermarkets which are Coles and Woolworths um So on that note, we've just gone the 50 minute mark. So I dare say I will, after I end this stream, I'll probably be live again in roughly an hour and a half after I end. Um, we'll go and hang out in the park, make music, um, do everything like that. So I'll schedule it as soon as I get home as well. So that way people have a bit of time. And saying it's so sunny, and as you can see, the birds are happy today. So, like with a lot of stuff, it sees the moments because you don't know when they're coming back. And we're going to head into winter soon, so I kind of wanted to, um, yeah. See, they have that in South Australia here. You're allowed a certain amount. Um, they've kind of partly decriminalised use, if that makes sense, but it's not legal. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, so it'll definitely be a music music one and I have been spent a lot of time in the last couple of days practicing on my ukulele I taught myself some new chords I've learned some new progressions um, I've got a lot of stuff that I want to share with you and the beauty is there's a really nice picnic table there so I can set up the tripod and um, my lyrics and we can sing and play and do whatever we want to do so there is a slight possibility that pug may go live and do a sing stream so if that happens we'll obviously <laughs> be there and if that's the case I'll, I'll join you from the um yes yes i know leela the reality yeah yeah it helps having the um the fence makes a big difference <laughs> and i know there's a lot of you that don't necessarily have um roundabouts where you are so at the very least, I'll leave you on the roundabout. Um, Cause I need to just check my, oh yeah, we got 31%, so that's okay. Yeah, we are very similar. We're both visual artists too. So, my favourite op shop, the Vinnies, is up ahead. Smoke them if you've got them exactly. Exactly. So. So I hope you like the, um, it's very pretty here. It's very, it's kind of semi-rural still with, you know, also being a part of Melbourne. Oh, sorry, I, the focus keeps going out there. And at night, all the trees are lit up with fairy lights. So when I walked home from seeing the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra the other night, I filmed down here. So I've got some really cool footage 
of all of these trees lit up at night so I'll use them in some of my backgrounds um, <laughs> and you know what you are Clayton we all have it see that's what the inspiration soup's about the ingredients and tools we have that we work on over life we all have recipes things that we know work and then we get to the point when we start serving and what I realized is that I was more capable than I thought I was and we all are we all have a lot of skills inside us. We're always, always a lot more than we expect, not less. And it's for me, it was a matter of giving myself the time to be able to do it. Whereas in the past, I hadn't had the time to dedicate into art and stuff like that. So when I had a bit of time with lockdown and everything, I went, right, I'm going to focus on the things I wish I, you know, the things I always put off for a rainy day for when I had more time. And, um, you're, all of us, we've all got music in us, we've all got lots in us, so thank you. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Oh my God, if only, we, we, it's a lot more expensive here, <laughs> but that's probably not the best uh, live conversation. So I'll show you down here as well, we've got the train line up ahead. So on that note, everyone, I'm going to love you, leave you. I, it's been a huge amount of fun. And, um, oh, God, my focus is going again. See, there you go, mate. It's um, partly so bright is what the problem is. So there we go. And because of that, I struggle to see the chat. <laughs> so on that note, everyone, where were we before? We were the baby elephant walk. So thank you. No, and the thing is, I just went straight into the entertainer instead of the baby elephant walk. <laughs> so thank you, everybody, for joining me today. It's been fun. And we'll be back later on for another round from the park. Much love, everyone. I'll see you later. Bye.